So we're here at Tanganana Beach and uh, today I've seen that uh, the door to this walkway is open. Last time I was here it was closed, it was told off that I can't get in and uh, I was a bit disappointed but today it is on. There's this rock mass that sticks out into the sea and it's very intriguing. And uh, well, here's the ocean, here's the Atlantic. We're on the northern side of Anaga. It's a little windy and a little wavy, but uh, anyway, let's go in there now and explore this unique opportunity, it seems. And uh, just to point out, yeah, there's a, a surf school out there. They are practicing and uh, they are using the waves to kind of hone their skill and uh, I'm not so much into surfing personally I would be worried I'd break my bones but uh, anyway we're walking down this walkway now and here's the door that kept me out last time so and it says uh, it's dangerous danger, Vorsicht, Peligro and um, well let's go in there so the thing is that there's several dikes here and here's dike rock and I think it's the dikes that uh, make this part of the, um, the rock mass more stable, more hard to erode and this is why it's standing proud I think. So here we have a greenish colored rock, it's a phonolithic rock and um, it's quite massive here and it seems to have a jointing that is pretty steep so I think this is a major dike intrusion, a phonolithic dike intrusion and as we've seen here in the Anaga Massif these are the things that stand out because they happen to be a little bit more weathering resistant. So we are walking now along the walkway and look there's some crabs there and they're now kind of going down the wall I think they're all gone now. Anyway, so here we have the dike rock. There's one. Can we catch it? Oh no, it's just moving down. I was too slow again. So, we can go up here and look out onto the sea. It's a thin ridge that sticks out and it's effectively done, it's effectively formed by this dike intrusion here that runs along the long axis of this ridge. So this is the rock, it's got feldspar, it's greenish, so a nice little phonolite and here we have a little kind of gabrox xenolith as well actually and uh, here is a little bit more of a pyroxenite xenolith with some feldspar veins. So we'll continue. And here we are approaching the end. And that is the dike that uh, forms this ridge effectively. Great that I had a chance. And there out there is the, the tooth of a naga. And uh, you can just about see it here. It also uh, is made of phonolite. It also stands proud. It's also weathering resistant. And yeah, the Atlantic is a little wild today. Quite exciting actually. I am enjoying this and uh, sorry if the wind is a little strong. So here we're picking up the dike again and uh, let's walk to the very end so you can you can actually moor your your, your boat here if you want and uh, bring in uh, fish or whatever if you're out there and uh, if you have a little fishing boat but uh, we're here for the rocks I guess. So here we have uh, our phonolite and uh, there's a little bit of a wall built at the very end and uh, the phonolite dike continues under the wall so here it is that's where it stops that's where the little ridge stops and just over there we have another little ridge it's disjointed but uh, this is also a major phonolite dike you see the long axis of the dike and it continues here so this is a major dike that just drops up in several places 
and this is where we have that. So, the intriguing observations is that um, these dikes must have been surrounded by rock and the rock has been eroded and that means that uh, this part of the island has seen a lot of erosion and a lot of back erosion from the sea. So there's a major big crab down there, I can see it. I'm not sure I'm gonna be able to catch it here. Probably not, not, not so well. Anyway, I'll leave that. And uh, I'll turn around here, looking at the, the dike ridge and the little walkway here and uh, I say thanks for the attention and uh, we uh, have a big lesson to take away here that uh, the phonolites, the weathering resistant rocks, they stick out and uh, they are remnants of an area of rock uh, because they had to intrude into something that is long gone and uh, this is a reflection of the backward erosion of the coastline here due to wind and wave action that uh, we have to be aware of but that we can't see anymore in its full extent only due to these remnants these erosive remnants of phonolite that stick up we have to assume that there was a whole rock mass occupying this space that's no longer there indeed there's a big debris avalanche fan out there in the sea that has been mapped at the ocean floor and this is where much of this material would have gone so, thanks a million, all the very best and talk very, very soon.